What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. The blood that was shed on Calvary Cross. The blood that brought salvation unto man. There is nothing. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And so it's the blood that has brought salvation unto us. It is the Lord's, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing but the blood, the blood of our Lord Jesus, the blood. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. What can walk away my sins? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? I did by the blood, the blood of Jesus. And all precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. That I felt, I know nothing but the blood. The blood of Jesus. It's all about the blood of Jesus. Yes, Moja, the blood that was shed on Calvary Cross. There is nothing. It's only one thing. The blood, the blood. For oh, my pardon this, I see nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. For oh, my and then this my plea I do the blood of blood of Jesus And all precious is the flow That makes me white as snow There's no other found Oh Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, there's nothing, there's nothing. It's only one thing. The blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. You know, precious is the blood that makes me white. That's no, no, I defense, I know nothing but the blood of blood, that's nothing, it's only one thing, the blood of our Lord Jesus, the shed blood, oh yes, the blood of the salvation, nothing, it's only the blood of Jesus, mm. Father in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, we bless you. We thank you once again for bringing us before your presence. Your word says, your presence, there is fullness of joy. Come and speak to us, minister to us. In the name of our Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen. People of God, men and women of God, wherever you are listening to us, we bring you greetings from God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and grant you peace. Remember somebody sang a song and said we are marching to zion beautiful beautiful zion we are marching upwards to zion a beautiful city of god come ye that love the lord and let your joy be known come in a song with sweet accord 
Come in a song with sweet accord and dance around that throne and dance around the throne. We are marching, we are marching to Zion. One day our Jesus will show up. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place and I will come back. Nobody knows the time. If anybody on earth tells you that Jesus is coming this day, I remember, I think it was early 2000 or so or before, they said that, somebody said that Jesus was coming. And till now, Jesus said, for that day it is hidden. I don't know, you don't know. But all that we have to do is to prepare. When you read 2 Peter 3, at the verse 10, the Bible says he will come like a thief. Our Jesus will, will come like a thief. Uh, and nobody knows. Hallelujah. He said, but that day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In that the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the earth also. And the works that are therein shall be burned. Nobody, it is hidden from my sight. It is hidden from your sight. But listen, the day that God has sent in heaven, <laughs> it, nobody knows, but it will not pass. It may not come in our time, but a set date, it will surely come. But all we have to do is to prepare. It's to prepare. Jesus Christ told us a parable in Matthew chapter 25. And Jesus said, the kingdom of God shall be likened unto ten virgins. Virgins are people who have never been defiled. Meaning that he was talking to the church. Jesus was talking to you and talking to myself. And then we have to prepare. We have to be in waiting. Nobody knows. He uses ten virgins to tell us that his coming will be a surprise. And said five, uh, ten virgins went to meet a, a bridegroom. On a wedding day and five of them were foolish and five of them were wise a child of god let me ask you my brother my sister where do you stand do you stand with the wise or do you stand with the, the foolish foolish in what sense in waiting in waiting my prayer is that you wait isaiah chapter 40 and verse 29 to 2 30 says that they that wait upon the Lord, they shall be renewed in strength, and they shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and they shall never be weary. Prepare yourself and wait for the Lord. He shall surely come. I was listening to a man and a woman. They, I believe they are celebrities in Nigeria. They say that they don't believe. They, don't, they believe in the devil. The devil is real. The devil is real. They, but they don't believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah, they believe that the devil is real, but they don't believe in Jesus Christ. Somebody believes that the devil is dead, that they don't believe in witches. They don't believe in anything. A child of God, be in ignorance that knows, does not excuse you. <laughs> ignorance is not an excuse. My prayer is that you would understand that Jesus is coming. He will come. And even if he don't come, remember the Bible says, for it is appointed unto man wants to die, and after that there is judgment. Bible says, And so if you die, Jesus has come for you. It has come to an end. There is no repentance after death. I pray that you sit down and ask yourself some questions. That are you sure you are a Christian? Yes, I thank God that you go to church. I thank God that I preach. But my preaching cannot take me to heaven. Even the Bible says if we have mouth <laughs> and we can sound many words and we don't have even love. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. One thing I pray every day that I will not be like a signboard that will stand and pointing people to heaven and myself will not go. May heaven forbid. I pray that I'll be the first person. I mean, that I'll be the first person. Because Jesus will come. Remember, 
the letters that he wrote to the churches through the John on the island of Patmos, all that he ended to every church that they that have ears, let them hear what the Spirit says. Meaning that not everybody that will come to the Lord Jesus Christ have ears. Not everybody in the church. Jesus said five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. When the trumpet sounded, he said, At midnight there was a cry. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out and meet him. Then all these virgins rose and trimmed their lamp. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us oil for our lamp is gone out. I pray in the name of Jesus that it will never be too late. One of the words I don't want you to use, one of the words I don't want myself, is, well, that word is had I know. Three words. Had I know. Anytime you hear people say, if I had known, meaning that they have come to a point of regret, meaning that they had the opportunity to, to choose the right, to do the right thing, but excuses. Heaven don't have time for your excuses. And every day I will tell you, and I say it in our language, with the trans enough and anyway you want. Sit down and fill your basket with excuses. I am a pastor. I go to church. This is my church. Uh, this is our church. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. I thank God that every church has a, a principles and everything that they do. The one thing is that will it lead you to heaven? Everything that you are doing. Let the end justify your means. Let heaven justify. I pray in the name of Jesus. Slaying the giants in our lives. I've been talking about it for several days. The giants in our lives. How to possess the, the land of your life. I am talking about our lives, our destiny. How we live this life on earth. How we'll be able to wage war and succeed. Remember. <laughs> the Bible said it. Let me go read Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6. And I'll read verse 10 through 12. And somebody, a child of God, note this. It is the word of God. The Bible says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wells of the devil. Meaning that there is <laughs> evil attack. Evil attack. And the attack of the enemy is to cause you to fail. Failure. It is there. Struggles are there in this life. And verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wickedness. <laughs> the Bible qualified it. See, the, there are wickedness in high places, meaning that wickedness to a higher level. And so before you can do, remember that the Bible is saying that we should be strong, you should be strong, I should be strong in the Lord. Meaning that you cannot win this battle of life but your, by your strength and by your knowledge. You cannot win it. It is not how knowledgeable you are. It is not how educated you are. Yes, it is very good to be knowledgeable. It is very good to, to have education. It is very good. But it, it will not give you victory. No wonder the Bible says in Proverbs 1 verse 7 that the beginning of wisdom is the, the fearing of God. Greetings to you also, Vukovi and Pastor uh, Steve Jr. My prayer is that you will be able to slay. There are giants in life that we, we, we are fighting to possess and to win this battle of life. A child of God, listen to me. No wonder Jesus told the disciples. Jesus himself knew that we cannot win with our physical strength and told the disciples, it is expedient for me to go. When I go, I will send the comforter, the Holy Spirit. When he comes, he said he will guide you into all truth. Again, he said he will take of the Father and give to us. And so it is the Holy Spirit that guides us. No one that through Paul, God said, as many that are led by the Holy Spirit are the children of God. I pray in the name of Jesus 
that for you to know that they are giants that we have to slay. Immediately you talk about giants to slay, somebody will think about David and Goliath. <laughs> yes, Goliath was a giant who was disturbing the Israelites. He was defiling the Israelites. Who? Look into your life. What is that, that giant? At times you can identify that things are not going right. Sometimes you sit down, you yourself know that uh, my ministry is not going how it should go. My life is not going how it should go. Meaning that there is a giant that is in between you and your promised land. Jesus told the Israelites, I am taking you to the land flowing with milk and honey. Meaning that the land is rich and the land is good. But remember, there were, on that land was the Amorites. <laughs> there were the Anakites. The land was occupied that the Israelites had to fight. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ, my brother, my sister, wherever you are, that you remember. Great things to you. Also, because you will always say that, that the unseen controls the natural. I thank God for this word. Some people don't believe it. I don't believe in the Lord. I don't believe in anything. Listen to me. You have a choice. Nobody can force you to believe. But remember, your believing will determine. I will every day tell you, and I continue to tell you people who will always, I don't believe in the Lord. Hey, if they are not witches, they are being bewitched. You don't follow them. You don't follow them. Because some of them have sold their soul to the devil. And the devil uh, have always read, they promised them this life. But remember, again, remember Jesus told us what the devil came to do. Jesus said, for the devil, the thief, came in to steal, to kill, and to, uh, and to destroy. And so the devil promised three things. And all the three things that he promised <laughs> will lead you into destruction, to pain, and to the fire, hell. But Jesus said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. A child of God, listen to me, my brother, my sister. There is life in Jesus. There is life. Jesus said, <laughs> said I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The Bible says in him is life and that life is the light of man. If you have come to the church and you did not find Jesus, it is not that Jesus is not, it's not real. It's not, that's not mean that Jesus is not alive. Maybe you you seek Jesus well. The Bible says we should seek him where he can be found and call upon him while he's near. Maybe you went to a place where Jesus is not here. Uh, listen to me. Jesus is not in every church. Not every church you go, you find Jesus Christ. There are some churches it's like a cemetery and they are pouring water on dry bones. Go to a place where you feel the presence of God, the Spirit of God. You will never regret and you never go home the same. He told them, don't leave Jerusalem until you are filled with the Holy Ghost. And the disciples obeyed. And they sat down. And the Bible said on that day, they received the Holy Spirit. And they were mounted His Spirit and they shrunk. No wonder after they received the Holy Spirit, Peter and John were going to the temple. And a man that had sat before the gate for many years, the gate was beautiful. Have a, a, a very beautiful name called a gate of beautiful but yes so somebody sat there many years i don't know how long you have sat in the church i don't know how long you have been going through your pain but my prayer my brother my sister child of god listen to me let's find jesus build a relationship it's individual i thank god for our pastors i thank god for the preachers that listen to me it's individual. Say God and you find him. Say Jesus Christ. He says, I stand at the door and knock. If anybody opens me, I will open him. And you're talking about slaying your giant, killing the giants in your life. The first thing I talked about, I talked about sin. That many Christians don't want to hear. Immediately you are preaching and you start talking about sin, people, everybody will leave. Because it started in America. Started in America. When some men of God started talking and teaching people, 
is that the Bible says, do not judge. Who are you to judge me? When you are telling the truth, preaching the truth, and then somebody says, who are you to judge me? My brother, my sister, listen to me. We cannot judge anybody, and we are not judges. But we are telling you the truth. Let me ask you a question. If you are a father or a mother, and you put on your stove or your oven, and this oven is hot, and you have a little girl, a little boy, and that boy is going to touch that hot oven, and you tell the boy, or you tell that young girl, if you touch the oven, it will burn you. Have you judged your, <laughs> your son? Have you judged your child? You have not judged. You are telling the child the truth. All you are telling him that when you take the stove, he will burn. You are not judging. We are telling you the truth that some lifestyle will lead you to hell. We are not judging you. We are telling you the truth. The Bible says you shall hear the truth, know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Every man of God who stands in a bridge and puppet and say that, who are you to judge? That man, either he is falling or he is backsliding. It does not matter your clerical. It does not matter. Sin is sin. If you are a man and you change yourself to a woman, if you are a woman you change yourself to a man, it's sin. If you go and steal, it's sin. If you lie, it's a sin. Sin is sin. And it will not help you as a Christian to win this battle of life. It's become a giant in your way. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Yesterday in our church, we did a Lord's Supper. And the Bible, when I was reading it, I read a portion of it. First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 11. And when you read verse 25 going down, 30. He said, many are sick in the church. For this reason, many are sick. Because we eat it and we eat it in a worthy manner. That's what the Bible says, that we should examine ourselves. And so if you continue to live a life and you don't want to change, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that somebody will understand the word of God. Trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. The Bible's obedience is better than sacrifice. The second thing I talked about, I talked about, I talked about the flesh. The Bible says we should present our body as a living sacrifice only and acceptable. Again, the Bible said, don't you know, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of God lives in you. I remember when we were growing, if we, <laughs> myself especially, my twin brother, if we go and involve ourselves in any sin, we don't want to go to church because we, we, we presume that the church is a holy place. And so, because the church is holy, you dare not go there. But we forgot. The Bible says, one thing you don't know. The Bible says, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? And the Spirit of God dwells in you. And he who, who uses the body, you have judgment. I pray in the name of Jesus that somebody will understand. It is good to go to church. But your body, if you defile the body, the Bible says the Lord will also defile you. May the Lord strengthen us. I also talked about curses. That many people are living in curse. Especially the unknown ones. And the unseen one. Somebody behind you. Will say an evil word. Against you. Somebody behind you. Will, will, will say something. And the enemy will take effect. But today I want to talk about evil covenants. Evil covenants. Covenants covenants and my prayer for somebody to understand i am talking about slaying your giants that stands in our way to win this battle of life this battle of life somebody was telling me that i'm come to america go to europe they, they 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 don't preach the gospel they don't do this let me be honest to you 
I have been in America for quite some years, over 20 years. We are almost cutting 30 years in America. I have been in many churches. Listen to me. There are true worshippers. They love the Lord. I remember one day I was working in Lovesville, Virginia. And I was there. I saw some ladies, white, no black. They were going to church. They were going for prayer meeting every, every morning from 10 to 12. They come there, then they were praying. Then I, I was so inquisitive. I said, let me go there. I asked one of the ladies. They were all white, but 30 of them. Uh, can I come in and pray with you? Oh, they are so kind. One of, they hold my hands and took me. They introduced me. I was the only young black. And so the first day, I was there probably about two months working on that site. First day, the second day, and the third day, they asked me to lead their prayer. And I tell me, when you give me the pulpit, I will let you know who Jesus is. Because everywhere we go, we carry Jesus. There's not anybody. <laughs> give me Jesus and take the whole world. All I want is Jesus Christ. Start opening my mouth and they started crying, they're falling under the power. There was so much in love. Whites. Uh, if you worship with white people, oh my God, there's so much love. And so, the following week, a young lady came, a white lady, thinking that, uh, you see, they have this uh, stereotype that all blacks are thieves and corrupt. Not. So, uh, uh, uh. I told the man of God, me, one thing you go to my mother, you tell my mother, I tell Granty Senior and Junior, have told it from me, my mother will swear by herself and tell you no. My mother was where? And I thank God I've been preaching on the radio. Nobody can stand now. Some granted has used <laughs> the gospel to this. <clears throat> May your money perish. So long as God has given us wisdom and knowledge to use our strength, God has never disappointed us. My mother will always say, tell you unfairly that our Jesus never failed. I thank God for the womb that gave birth to me and my brother. This woman will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> when you greet my mother, my mother will respond unfairly. She will always tell you, Jesus never fail. Well, one of my friends <laughs> in Canada, she's a, he's a doctor in petroleum. He recently called me, I want to go to Ghana for your mother to lay hands on me once again. We were in the university, USD. We met at USD. But yes, so my mother made an impact. In all our friends' lives. Because this woman, my mother will tell you, my child of God, listen to me. My brother, my sister, don't let anything live a righteous life and do the will of God. Live a righteous life and do the will of God. Don't let anybody use, preach the gospel and do the right thing. When you do the right thing, the Lord will bless you. I am talking about evil covenants. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Know that Jesus is real. And he will surely come back. This young guy came and asked me, who do you want them to pay tithe to? Do you want them to pay tithe to you or pay tithe to? And I said, that, what do the Bible? Yes, go into the Bible. You pay tithe to the church. You pay tithe to the church. You don't pay tithe to any man. And so after the church, she wanted to give me money. Probably a thousand dollars was in his hands. I said, no, I did not come here for money. I came for Jesus. Until now, I left Virginia. Until now, they call me. Even when some of them died, they call me to tell, tell me, Steve, Mary have passed away, this have passed away. And until now, some of them are friends on my Facebook Seven years ago, I left Virginia. Yes, sir. We used to have fellowship. All I want you to do is to live a life. Make an impact in people's life. Nobody can tell me that Osofu Grande has come and said, give me one dollar, give me May heaven perish. I serve, I, I, then I will tell you, then I serve a wrong God. Work. And live a righteous life. Lazy Christians fail. 
if you are Christian, you work, you earn income. If, 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 if a Muslim work, they earn income. Because one thing that God said, He said, subdue the earth and multiply. He gave that command to every human being. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to talk about evil covenants. And sometimes the covenants, covenants are very good. Covenants are very good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, God made a covenant with Abraham. You go into the Bible. God told Abraham <laughs> that, <laughs> that leave your land and go to, to the land that I will show you. And it's between two people. Covenants are between two people. It's between two people. And so, if there is a covenant between you and, and God, God is always going to fulfill his part. You also fulfill your part. You also fulfill your part. And so, God, God told Abraham, leave this land and go. And I'll bless you. All that Abraham did was to leave the land. When you read Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, let me go read it. And you see, I am talking about evil covenants that many people enter and lives have been destroyed. It becomes a giant in your life. It becomes a giant and it will destroy you. It will destroy you. And now the Lord said to Abraham, get out of thy country. And from their kindreds, and from their father's house, unto the land that I will show thee. And I will make, thy, I will make thee great. And God continue. And so when you read the Bible about Abraham, no matter the troubles and the pain that Abraham went through, God fulfilled the covenant. So long as Abraham did what was right. And so covenants are between two people. But my prayer is that somebody that is listening to us, you will, will live a righteous life. It is a form. It is formed by at least two people. And there could be more. And it is binding whether you are aware of it or not. It is binding. There are powers that are backing this covenant to enforce it. And there is always a sign of talking to establish a covenant. Except you break this covenant with the word of God. Except you break it with violent prayer. And so many people, many people have entered a covenant that they have forgotten, especially the blood covenant. The blood covenant. And the first one I will talk about it is covenant through sex. 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 Covenant through sex. Covenant through sex. You see, many people don't understand why the Bible says that we should wait before we get married. People don't understand. Some people don't understand. And today my prayer is that somebody will understand it. <laughs> somebody that is listening to us will understand it. And you refrain from it. Hallelujah. Again, my prayer is that somebody that is listening to us, you will understand it. The reason why the Bible wants us to stay sex is spirit. Again, listen to me. Somebody that is listening to me, sex, a spirit. There is a spirit behind it. Somebody say, I don't believe it. <laughs> it is fun. It is fun. You continue. I am preaching to somebody who has ears of the spirit. Preaching to somebody, uh, yes. Sex outside marriage. It does not matter if you use somebody say it does not matter whether you use condom. A covenant is made. Let's go and read First Corinthians chapter six. Now read verse sixteen. I am talking about destroy demonic giants god told the israelites in numbers 13 he said what more you know that he which is joined 
to a high lord is one body. For two, said he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. And so whoever you join yourself with, you become one spirit. You carry a spirit away. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Many are dying. Many are perishing. Many are wailing. Come down, come down, come down right now. Listen to me. Whoever you have intercourse with, have sex with, you become one body. The, the first covenant, evil covenant, the meaning will follow. Hey, let me tell you a story. It does not matter your age. It does not matter anybody you have. Immediately, immediately, you maybe you have maybe 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. You don't have you don't have any relationship. But immediately you meet at some place. Even if you have not talked, you don't talk, you see that your spirit will connect. Your spirit will connect. Do you know the reason I continue to watch her? People who are high lords. In our language, we call them a shawo. Consider their lives. No a shawo woman or man who can grow and have at the end of his life. You begin to watch. Begin to watch them. At the end of their lives, you see them. You can never, everything that you build will grow. Because you connect your spirit with different spirits. The Bible says, whoever you join yourself together, you become one. You become one with the person. And that is why Christians will tell them, but somebody will not understand. Fear will last and fear with a demonic passion. Once, I was listening to something, you know, if you, you meet the person and you don't, you don't test, how can you know that is sweet? You can give excuses. You can give excuses. Somebody don't want to hear. Somebody don't want to hear. I have been there before. Yes, I, I, I am a pastor. I have made mistakes. If I say that I live the holy life, I'm a lion. I have fornicated before. So for granted me, I will tell you the truth. I have been there before. And not until I lifted my holy hands to the Lord, I will never. Sex is spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus. He said, for two, said he, shall be one flesh. So one plus one. During sex, many things are transferred. Listen. During sex, many things are transferred. Diseases. Body field, liquid, spiritual, a lot of transaction take place. Hallelujah. And <laughs> no wonder there are many marine spirits. Recently, I heard a guy was talking. He was on the social media many times. The guy said that he was working at the hotel in a crowd. And a beautiful lady came there. She always come there. Said, wow, what a beautiful lady. And so proposed to the lady. <laughs> there are some men. Everything was short. They will never let it pass. And some of them are happy. They even count them. And how many women they have slept with. <laughs> you, 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 are, you are digging your hole. And you fall in. I pray in the name of Jesus. I am talking about demonic giants. That occupy our lands, that prevent us to sit upon our thrones and live and, and, and possess the land. Many are walking, many are in pain, many are in sickness, many are going through trouble because they invited it, it by themselves into their life. Sing Jesus, sing Jesus. Somebody sang a song. Jesus is passing this way, your way, my way. Jesus is passing your way. Is passing your way, right? Jesus is passing your way, but with your left hand, you push him away and take the whole world. You want the whole world? Somebody sang a song <laughs> that uh, <laughs> this world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. If heaven is not my home, then Lord, what could I do? The angel back on me from heaven, swooping door, and I can't feel like home in this world. We feel heaven and we feel at home. That there is Jesus, that there is heaven. 
Somebody will laugh because we are talking about heaven. Poor you. Poor you. Again, I will tell everybody, if you don't encounter Jesus, I don't care your level or your clerical, you don't go to heaven. I thank God for Papa Duncan William. He said something that have catch my heart for many years. He said it does not matter how many years you preach. It does not matter how many years you worship God. If you don't take it, you can still be deceived by the devil. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will not cover yourself with your church, but cover yourself with Jesus. Let him live in you. Walk a righteous life. I am talking about slaying the giants in our lives. Moses called the twelve and sent them. Go and spy the land. They got to the land. And they saw the Anakites. They did not come with a good message that the land was the, 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 the fruit, the power grapes. They could one person could not carry. One person could not carry. One person could not carry. But they did not come. But all they came to say that they were Anakites. My brother, my sister, child of God, what, what has occupied your land? What has occupied your life? What has occupied your life? I am talking about evil governance. Be careful. This boy, he said that he he went and slept with this woman. Find the hotel, went to the woman's hotel. Room and slept with the woman. Went home. Immediately he, he got home. Thinking that I've, I've, I've finished the day work. Let me go home. This woman don't know why this man said. He said he was living in Jamestown. By the time he realized somebody was knocking at his door, he opened the door and there was this woman. He said, how did you know here? I said, but I know your house. I came in thinking that, oh, at midnight this woman went. By the time uh, he realized this woman was sleeping beside him. Evil covenants, demonic covenants. I am talking about sex. I have had many women, many men. You know the reason why many women and many men are complaining about spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. Because they slept with a man or a woman that they did not know that this man is full of spirits. And so have covenanted and become part of you. You cannot. Hey, some of these things, if you don't grow strong in the spirit, you cannot break it. Evil covenants are difficult to break. Somebody, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you know I am talking about evil covenants that many people enter. It will prevent you. I was listening to a woman, a Nigerian woman, who was saying that I have a spiritual husband and how happy. And a very beautiful woman have never married and will never marry. Because uh, she has accepted it, it became a lifestyle, and was talking about it. That uh, any time when she was in school, she slept with the man, not knowing that, that man was a spirit. And so these days, you tell her uh, the young that are coming. Even some pastors, some pastors will tell you. I have a, a woman that came and told me. Uh, my pastor told me that that is how we do it. Go and do it. Sin has been accepted in the pulpit. No wonder that the Bible says when you see abomination that causes remedy. People have in different interpretation. But what the Spirit of God told me, abomination that causes remedy, standing in the holy place, the things that are not to be mentioned, standing in the holy place, lesbianism, gay, standing in the holy place, sin is in the church. Believe you me, if you are 25 years to 30 years woman or man and you have not slept with a man, even your, some pastors will laugh at you. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> it says that a lady dedicated to the marriage spirit who have many demons, uh, these hundred demons, and sleep with. There are beautiful women walking, handsome men, not all, not all of them. I was telling my brother this Saturday, last, last Saturday, I felt sorry for the man. I went to the store. I was going to buy a wallet. 
just pass out of there. I was standing there and all of a sudden I heard a voice within me lift up your, your, your head. I saw a young black lady, a beautiful lady walking with a man. And the man is Hispanic. Maybe I, I, they were speaking Spanish. And he's an early man, a very a grown man. And he's, he, I think he be by his late 50s or old. They just started looking at me. And the man tapped their shoulders. Why? Why are you looking at him like that? I just kept quiet. And so I moved to another place. The girl left the man and came and stepped, stepped beside me. Like she was looking through what I was looking through. I said, no. I went to the other session. She moved there. Then the Spirit of God told me, <laughs> don't sow a seed for yourself. And I left the store. I told my brother, my brother, my sister, listen, not everybody that we meet, there are some people that how beautiful they are. But our young and our, uh, no pastor would tell them, we don't have pastors that will preach. And tell them sin will destroy you. Sin will not allow you to sit upon your throne. Sin has destroyed many homes. And because of sin, people are sick in their bed. Sex is spirit. Take this from me. me. <laughs> Somebody is angry. Because <laughs> you are falling into. <laughs> you come and sell self for granted. Told us. But we did not believe. Hallelujah. The second thing is blood. Blood. Blood covenants. There are many people. <laughs> many people that enter into different kinds of covenant. Through blood. You form it through blood. <laughs> I had a couple when they were young. They said they were in so much love. They said they let two blood come and they cut themselves and do. They mix their blood together. And after many years, you leave. You find your partner, and then somebody find their partner. They have been a covenant, demonic covenant. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That you not involve yourself. I am talking about the giants in our, our lands. That occupies our lands. It becomes sickness. It becomes hindrances. It becomes something that causes our problem. And will come our way every day. The devil will show up every day. All that he wants to do. Is to come your way and destroy. Where are the ignorant? I pray that you will not sit in ignorance. It's not an excuse. The devil will not tell you that because of ignorance, <laughs> because of that. Let me go. Let's go and read some scriptures. Let's go and read some scriptures. When you read Matthew, Mark chapter 14, verse 24, the Bible says Jesus Christ told that before, and it's also in the first Corinthians chapter 11. When Jesus was about to die, he gathered his disciples. And the Bible says that he took the bread and said, this is my body. Every time you do it, do it in remembrance of me. It's a covenant, a new covenant. Let me go read Mark. Mark chapter 24. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've already opened uh, I've already opened Corinthians. So let's go and read what is in Corinthians. Corinthians chapter 23. He said, for I have received of the Lord that which I also deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and took it. And this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he continued, verse, he continued also in verse 24. Mark, Mark chapter 20, Mark chapter 14. Let me go read Mark chapter 14. And I read verse 24 here. Hear what he says. He says that this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. This is my blood of new covenant. Blood, blood covenant. So there are many people they have entered to do blood covenant, through sexual covenant. A married man will think that they are married, let me go. Behind my wife and uh, a married woman, 
And some people will say that I, I heard a man, a man, he says he's apostle. He says he's apostle. I don't know where they get their titles from. No wonder the devil gives titles. Because we have prophets who have gone to, and make covenants. We have them. And they still stand in the pulpit. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will not be one. I thank God for Paul, Paul preach Christ, Philip preach Christ, the disciple preach Christ. We will preach Jesus Christ. We will preach Jesus Christ. We know many who are, do not want to hear. But the few that Jesus will give to us will lead them to heaven. This is our aim. There is heaven. What do you like? Somebody say you don't believe. You sit down. I thank God. Hey, if somebody was, was a, an arguer, I used to I used to argue about these things. Myself and my brother would go to the church of Pentecost. I grew up through the I was born in the church of Pentecost. It was through the church of Pentecost that my mother conceived us. But we would go to church, especially when we hear them speaking in tongues. I, I look at my brother's face and he look at my face and we begin to laugh. Thinking that it was a joke. Until we encountered, I, I encountered the Lord Jesus Christ in our pain on our deathbed. And the Lord Jesus reveal himself. You say, you say, no, you say there is no Jesus. Poor you. Poor you. May your money perish. One day you live to regret. And think that some of us, we are stupid. We don't know what we are doing. It's, it's, it's 531, 531, my time in Houston. Six o'clock, I have to be on my way running to work. We don't preach because we need somebody's money. We preach because we it has become fire in our bones. It has become fire in our bones. We cannot sleep without preaching the word. We cannot sleep without telling somebody Jesus is alive. Do the transfer for you? You want to travel? Like I just say, you need to be here. You are doing it. You need to maybe be here. In Australia, you preach it. Africa for you need to preach it. Who the transfer? Pray in the name of Jesus that I am talking about demonic covenants that people enter and it becomes a spirit within us and fight our daily lives and we complain. Me, I thank God. One of the things I have, I have been closer to, <laughs> you see, when when God bless you and put you in position, I have worked with rich white people. I've worked with rich Indians. I've worked with, I can tell you, hey, most of them that I know, they are all gods. I must be honest to you. Because listen to me, every language, <laughs> we don't say that they have they have they, they work for money they say they have gotten money every spirit within they know that way the spirit and so they they attach themselves to different kinds do you know the spirit within us know that there is a superior being and so everybody on earth have a form of god everybody have a form of god when you tell people they don't believe it that is my prayer for you that you post in the Lord Jesus what has to pray and we'll continue tomorrow continue to tomorrow I just want to encourage you to live a righteous life see Jesus Jesus cannot be found anywhere. There are some places you go, you will not meet Jesus. And sorry, God has never been in that church. My brother sent me a message from a message, and it was an Obinim. Obinim was asking himself that, me, when I die, where will I go? The same person who was telling his congregation that he was an angel. He, he was an angel. The same person who was telling his congregation that I am an angel. And Jesus, my father, Jesus Christ, now he is asking himself. No wonder Jesus told us. They are full in Ghana. Some of them have big churches, but they are all called Freemason. I pray in the name of Jesus, the good ones are now even destroyed. The good, the good churches are now being destroyed because of money, 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 money. I remember I went to preach in a church 
Went to preach in the church. And after I finished, he wanted to give me money. The Holy Spirit told me not to get it. I said, no, no. I am okay. The man of God that I went to was working with me. He said, he said, also, why don't you get it? I said, you may know did you want? I just look at his face and I just shake my head. I just shake my head. Some of us we don't preach, we preach before because Christ. We want somebody to go to heaven. And so the devil continued to fight us. I am talking about the giants in your life that you need to slay. Some of the things. I will talk about some of the intention, some of the, 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 the giants that we intentionally bring to, into our lives. Some of them are accidents, some of the things that we do. Demonic covenants. Demonic covenants, some of the things, is some of foods. Every food is good. Every food is good. But the ones that are not good are the ones that have been placed on rituals. They say, I know God, I am strong. My brother, my sister, if you are not strong in spirit, don't venture. Because the demons, they are strong. The witches and the wizards. If you don't know your spiritual level, don't tempt. So many are dying. Many, are, many people are going through life struggle. Your, your, your ignorant grandmother or grandfather went to a demonic god and because they needed something covenanted with them i have a friend pastor who had that spirit of faith in ghana we call it a tre 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 and this handsome very educated said that when they were in secondary school the sad aspect of it is that it will come when that and he, he was an su leader it will come at the point whereby they have all gathered together. And the devil will disgrace you. The devil is wicked. The devil is wicked. And one day, he said, he came on the school campus. He woke up. And from there, he went to his mother and asked, why? And the mother said that, look into our family. Your great-grandfather went. And they were, mm -hmm. the family had no men. Went and covenanted. And they gave the family men. And there was a condition that every man that comes into the family will have a fit. And so they said that in our family there were no men. All the women don't have marriages. And he started praying. He prayed to a that, that from that day that spirit <laughs> left him. And the Bible says that when the devil goes and roam about, he comes back. He came to America and gave birth. This man I'm talking about is very, very, very rich. And we, we, if we are talking about one of the Ghanaians that God has blessed, he's one in America. He said, oh, so far, you know, I have only one girl. And all of a sudden, my girl started having faith. Chire, chire. In America. But some dream of you, but some do what she when you tell people <laughs> say jesus and live a righteous life he said that he said, said to himself no huh? and prayed for the daughter covenanted fasted 40 days fasted and now from nowhere it has never come again the devil goes and come back every covenant that a man makes many people are going through the child of god listen to me it takes those who know the lord jesus christ I have something that I go through, my brother, go through. It takes all the Lord Jesus Christ. The devil will not let you sit upon your throne. The devil will not let you occupy the throne of your life until you fight. No wonder the Bible says we should work our own salvation with fear and trembling. Because the, the devil wants everybody to go to hell. Live a righteous life, seek Jesus. Talking about slaying the giants of your lives, possessing your life as a Christian, a life without a fight, <laughs> it has no worth it. Maybe you are not living a righteous life. At times, some people can insult us and tell us because of our sin that is why we are going through what we are going through. At times, you have to fight. No, it is not sin. You have done nothing wrong. 
But so long as you have lifted your hands unto the Lord, you have invited war for yourself. The devil will pounce you. But the Bible says, again, listen to me. Let me go read it, Isaiah. And we'll go, uh, let me go read Isaiah chapter 54. I want to read it to your hearing. Isaiah chapter 54. And I'll read verse 15 and 16. He says, Behold, they shall gather together, but not by me. But whoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith and blow the coals in fire that brings forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster, the destroyer. It's talking about the devil. But this is the promise for the righteous. It is not for those who go to church. It's not for those who preach the gospel. It is not those who, whose father or mother. It's for those who live a righteous life. If I preach and I preach and preach and everybody becomes so remorseful and change and I don't live a righteous life, it's not for me. He said, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, say yes, the Lord. I am talking about the righteous. Live a righteous life. Somebody will get angry when they hear you saying that. We will tell you the truth. Let them not have ears hear the word of God. Let me lead somebody to Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, today I, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Father, your word says, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. All things have passed, and everything has become new. As I have said to you, may you order my step until you come and call me from this earth. In Jesus' name. Again, find a church. I pray that you find a good church. There are good churches. And they, they may not have large congregation, but believe you me, Jesus is there. There are some churches nowadays, big, the big churches have been destroyed. Most of them have turned into money. And when you go, you go, the witches and the wizards, they take the front seats. Some of them are elders, some of them are deaconesses. So they, they, they are dead. Go to a place where by the Spirit of God, you come home and you feel the presence of God. I remember, I remember when we used to go to church. The woman would say, ah, and then they are sorry to you come home, you ask this woman one one even message and this woman will not remember. All they remember when we sing and dance. No, it is good to sing and rejoice. But the best is to have the word in you. God bless you. Begin to pray. Let's thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. Pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Hey, God revealed to us. He always wants his children to know what the enemy hey, God wants you to know. And so say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for letting me know demonic covenants that we have entered, that is waging war, is meditating, fighting our Christian life, our daily life. So thank God for that. I pray the Lord, I thank you for opening my understanding to know that there are demonic covenants that we enter in every day. Thank God. And pray, pray with us. Say, Lord, I thank you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I want us to pray. Unknown covenants that we have entered, there are people that we have entered demonic covenant that we don't have any idea. The people that we slept with, thinking that this is my, my this is my my soulmate, oh this is my lover. You don't know. Imagine if you're a man and you go and sleep with a witch. You a woman and you sleep with. Her. I know. I know, I know, I am not saying somebody. I know one guy, he used to be a friend. This man is so possessed. Possessed that every woman or baby or then one can be a brabasse. Baby, you know, Korean, you know, 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 you I am not saying that you go to church. I am saying, second Jesus. 
Men of Bompire. Be an only of your sign. Maybe you have walked with somebody. Maybe you did not know spiritual things are spirit. Because he is spiritually descend. <laughs> I thank God for some of it. I love that everywhere I stand, I preach, I say it. He says the unseen control the natural. It takes those who have the spirit of God to understand. <laughs> that there are many things that they work them. And so you sleep in the night. And in your dream, something happened. In the morning, you see it manifested. <laughs> you don't pray. The vampire. We are praying that every covenant, uh, we are talking about unknown covenant. And maybe you yourself did not know. But it has been established within the spiritual realm. And it's what you want against your life. Against your children, against your marriage, against your, your children, against your family, against your husband, against your wife. It is having effect against your destiny. <laughs> you are going to surrender everything. Say, Lord Jesus, say it. Say, Lord Jesus, say in the name of Jesus. Every demonic covenant that I entered unknowingly that has been used as a weapon against my life by demons and witches. I surrender it to you, O Lord Jesus. I command the Spirit of God. I counsel it. I destroy it. Your word says upon my Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And we shall possess our lands. Let it take effect in my life. I counsel an unknown covenant that I have entered sexually, friendship, and anything through food, through anything, drinks, and everything. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth. Use the blood in the name of Jesus. Use it. Use it and pray in the name of Jesus. Zante te branda corono briadaba. Ekata bojanti te branda zu corono briadaba. We are praying against unknown covenants, demonic covenant that have been established in our lives, in our lives, in our destiny. Pray in the name of Jesus, my brother. Pray. Somebody pray. Sexual contact that you have with people, men and women, that have left a mark on your spiritual life, that have so tied you. There are some people, their soul has been tied with the demonic spirits, witches and wizards to the marine spirits. And they call over them. They, call, they follow you everywhere. It will destroy everything. I pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I command the blood. The Bible said he overcame him by the blood. And the word. Use the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood. Somebody sang a song and said, power, wonder, working power in the blood of the Lord. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood, the blood. Yes, so much. Yes, so Christ, so much. Yes, so Christ, so much. Open your mouth and pray in the power of the Holy Ghost. And in the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I say, Lord, I cancel every demonic covenant that was initiated by my great grandfather, that somebody within my family, an unknown covenant that is waging war, that is fighting me day every day of my life. Many have died and gone, many are in pain, many are in trouble because of a demonic covenant that was initiated, was covenanted. It is waging war oh jesus we bring your people before you deliver them we walk we counsel it we counsel it we counsel it we counsel it i pray to my mother's family i pray to my father's family i pray to my friends every demonic friendship the lord is having an effect i pray in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, lift up your holy hands and pray. And as Jesus, oh God, Father, we thank you, we bless you. Rika da Bujan did the branda sukorono briadaba. Is the branda da Burundi briaka da Bujan did the branda sukoro. E papa, up your mouth and pray. Up your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Again, I want you to pray. We are praying. Listen, God told the Israelites, The land I'm giving you is full with milk and honey. But there were enemies that are occupied. 
A child of God, you have to win this battle of life. Well, there are some people, it may be sickness. <laughs> In our language, we have something that we say, you be one day free area. Free area. Free area. And so, uh, become an enemy that is occupying the land of your life. It is preventing you. There are some people, the enemy has occupied their destiny. Can be your work, your ministry, your wife, your children. Uh, again, no child will say that I want to destroy myself. Uh, when this child see to his brothers, uh, other friends going to university. I know a guy. I know a guy, a girl in Houston. I am not saying somebody. I know. I am talking. I, when I talk, I talk about facts that I know. This guy, I mean, uh, that, 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 this girl is 19 years. Was doing good in the university. Was doing very good. And because the father went and made friends with this evil man. Any place, any where he comes to be friend, by the time he lived there, your children will start doing drugs. Because one of the things I will do is to come and lie and destroy somebody's husband or wife and say that no, you only be for them because you're so before to destroy your life, but they be who. Immediately, this boy went into the house. This beautiful lady, the father's cried. The girl has not done it in nothing. The father went to his daughter's room on the table, cooking drugs, and the girl was sneezing, sneezing like that. Was going to her. Asked her why. He said, "I hear a voice telling me to go and do it. I hear a voice destroying." Nobody will destroy it. There are evil people. We are so wicked. Once you plan your life and your daily life, somebody has time to sit down to destroy. May turn the fire them. We are praying maybe your life has been occupied. Somebody by somewhere. We are going to cry on God. Save me, Lord. Fight. David prayed that prayer in Psalm 35. Psalm 35. Let me read it for you to see and hear and pray that prayer. David said, Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of your shield and your buckler. Stand up for my help. Draw out also your spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, and thy salvation be. Let them be confounded and put to shame. You want to pray that prayer? Say, Radini Wawane Okonko. You can see it that they have sown it, they have become a covenant in your family. It's destroying everybody. There you sit down and say, I will never accept it. I told you recently the enemy sowed that seed of diabetes in my family. If I mean you have to be a diabetes, I'm saying, now wait a second. We started praying. We started praying. And no, 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 no. Where it has vanished too. Yeah, it has vanished. The devil saw it. Okay, I'll be on more. Okay, I said, I'm going to be there. I must be. You attack the devil to everything. You sit down. What do you have to say? Not funny about you. What do you have to say? I try to touch you now. So I'm going to be able to talk to you. A day what will crush you, you child. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Sorry, those who don't understand our language watching us. Some people don't understand our language. So when I turn into a language, they don't understand it. They those watching me from the Facebook. Sorry. <laughs> we are praying. Open your mouth and pray. Let's pray our last prayer. Our time is fast uh, so that we can leave you for the radio. Open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, everyone that is occupied fighting my life, fight against them. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name. Pray. And pray. They are fighting you. They have occupied your land. A land that is flowing with milk and honey. They have occupied it. And they are fighting you everywhere. They don't want you to sit upon it. They are fighting your husband. They are fighting your wife. They are fighting your children. They are fighting them. Use the name. The name of Jesus. Pray and say in the name of Jesus. In the name. If the name cannot save you. At the blood. There is no amount of anointing oil. There is no amount of anointing oil. 
Uh, so I believe in it. But the power is in the name. The power is in the blood through the Holy Ghost. Pray in the name of Jesus. I will talk about it tomorrow. That many people have used these things to, to enter into demonic covenant and the abyss of hell. Pray in the name of Jesus. Rikada borobo shanti di branda, iboja kada borondi bria kada ba zibranda daba, ipanta daba. Every spirit that occupy your land, we command them to live in the name of Jesus. 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 Rakada bojanti di branda zukorono bria daba, ipanta daba, ekorono bria daba. Lord, I surrender and I commit your people that are listening to us. Father, we pray that you heal them, those who are sick. Every demonic sickness that has been shown in their spirit, we command you, the Holy Ghost, to approach it. We drive every spirit away, every demon that is occupying their land of life, their destiny. We are talking about destiny. We are talking about your will and your purpose for them. We are talking about what you have ordained for your people. Any demonic giant that is wrestling with them fight with them. We command you, Holy Spirit. We command the tender of God. Christ them everywhere. Set your people at liberty. Set them free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. I mean, God bless everybody that for watching. That's all for coffee. God bless you. Let me say big thanks to my big sister, Sister Adelaide. God, God bless you. Love you, sister, for every day watching. Continue to pray for every heart desire. Pastor Steve, grant God bless you. And uh, Mami Dana J, God bless you. And also those who are watching. Tomorrow I'll talk about it. I'll continue the evil covenant. And talk about it. Talk about the evil covenant. About a man. A man. A man. I have a tape about a Nigerian pastor who is blind. How they use anointing oil to destroy many people's life. Anointing oil. You go to every place. Uh, immediately there's anointing service. You go. <laughs> no coffee granted. <laughs> not everything that glitters is good. I am not saying that it is no good. I am saying that there are many hands that uses this oil. It's very demonic. You don't go and bring curses to yourself. God bless you all. But thank you, thank you, also for, also for.